Hi everyone, I still have my sleeping cap on because I wanted to show you my morning routine to lose weight 2020. When I was on my weight loss journey to losing 150 pounds, I had a very specific morning routine that I would follow. And I am going to be restarting that morning routine. So if you're looking for a morning routine to get you on track to losing weight, stay tuned, keep watching. So after brushing my teeth and washing my face and taking off my sleeping cap, I come into the kitchen and I take my vitamins. I'm going to show you which vitamins I take and why. So here is my trusty bowl of vitamins that I take in the morning and I'm going to go through each one. First up is my multivitamin. I take a multivitamin every day. I think it is important to take a high quality multivitamin just for those days where maybe it was a really busy stressful day you didn't eat as well as you should have we know we all have those days we all have those days so it is better to make sure that you're taking your multivitamin um, and you should take a high quality one now as you can see on the bottle it's gummies okay <laughs> i like the gummies so that's the one i take i don't like those big pills i mean for some vitamins you have to take the pills you don't have a choice but when i see a gummy i get a gummy <laughs> it's really good though next up is hair skin and nails i really love this vitamin well basically it's just um biotin because i used to take biotin so it's just biotin in a fancy pink bottle with a bit of vitamin c added and vitamin e but i found that with my nails i never had a problem with growth but what would happen with my nails is sometimes after they did become a certain length, they'd easily break off. But I found that taking this after around, I would say three weeks, I saw a significant difference. So give it about three weeks to a month if you're going to be taking it. Um, and I saw that it was really, really helping with keeping my nails strong. So I do take this. This is not really towards weight loss, um, but I just wanted to show you guys. Now up is vitamin C. Now vitamin C helps in leveling out your blood sugar and it also helps in reducing belly fat. Now that is only in combination with a healthy eating plan or lifestyle. If you are eating chocolates, cakes and everything every day, it's not going to level out your sugar and you're not going to lose the belly fat if you're not following a healthy uh, diet, weight loss plan, lifestyle. So it is in combination and it is also great to take because we are in COVID, going through COVID, it's great to be taking vitamin C. I do take two tablets every single morning. I was taking it before COVID, meanwhile I was losing weight. Um, I was taking two tablets every day, but it's great, vitamin C. And you can take up to three tablets, but I just take two every day. Next up is apple cider vinegar. This is the tablets. Why do I have the tablets? Because also have the liquid it has to have the mother in it oh gosh i hate the liquid <laughs> i hate it so much but i do i i when i was losing a lot of weight i was taking the liquid in the morning and making sure i took it with a straw because you don't want to damage um, your teeth so i was taking it in water um, i would actually put two tablespoons in a glass of water and drink it with a straw and then I found out about the tablets and I was so happy. Um, I take the tablets, I take two in the morning and then I also take two before dinner. And I love the tablets. And I'm told that it's the same thing. The tablets is just, you know, as effective as the liquid. <laughs> but I, I do have the liquid and I will be taking, on some days I'll be doing the liquid and water and then most days doing the tablets. So yeah, try to balance it out. And as I was saying, yeah, you have to make sure to drink it with a straw in some water. But this is great for belly fat. It is, some people say that when they take it, mostly the liquid, I haven't heard this about the tablets, that they feel less hungry, less, um, less hungry throughout the day when they take it. So it's also great as, um, an appetite suppressant for me I can't really say that's true um, 
I, I don't recall being less hungry. I do think that over time it helped in cravings. Like I craved sugar and sugary, um, like, you know, bakery and sweets. I craved it less and I think that the apple cider vinegar did play a huge part in that um, after taking it because I was religiously taking the liquid when I was on my weight loss journey um, every morning. And I think that it really did help. But some people say that, yeah, it's, it also helps them and not feel hungry. So this is great to take. So if you can get the tablets, I got it from Amazon. And I take two every morning and then two before dinner. And last but not least, I have a glass of lemon water every morning. I just take two tablespoons of lemon juice and pour it in a glass of water. It actually provides hydration, boosts your metabolism. There's so many great things to it. And after, sometimes it might take a little while to get used to it, but after a while, it actually tastes refreshing. Now, you can also use uh, lemons if you have, if I have a fresh lemon, I'll also cut like a lemon in it instead of the lemon juice. Um, but I find the lemon juice just a bit easier and it's actually more, to me, um, cost-wise, because lemons are really pricey here. So I find that buying the lemon juice, I think this bottle of lemon juice costs $3. And since I use it every single morning, it works out really well. So definitely try to get lemon juice in. As I'm saying, if you were never doing lemon water before, the first couple times of doing it, it's not going to taste that great, but you'll get used to it. Because right now I actually really truly enjoy having lemon um, water in the morning. So you'll get used to it and it's really, really good for you. So I make sure to have it every morning. Sometimes I even have it twice a day. Sometimes I'll have it in the morning and then again before dinner but for sure I always consistently have it in the morning. Now you guys might be wondering, why didn't she have breakfast? It's a part of her morning routine. Or you might not care. You might not be wondering that at all. <laughs> However, I'm gonna share why I didn't have breakfast. I practice intermittent fasting. So I have an eating window from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. When I was on my weight loss journey and losing a lot of weight, I did 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And some days I did 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. to shorten that window. Now, intermittent fasting, I wish I knew about it before. Honestly, it was it really made a difference in my weight loss. So if you can add it to your weight loss program, that would be amazing. Now, if you do get up earlier in the morning, let's say you have to get up at five or six to start work at seven or eight or nine, you probably want to start your eating window earlier and end it earlier. Or if you're a night owl, you probably want to start it later and end it later. So for my eating time, the 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. does work well for me. Um, and also 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. because I find that I'm not hungry until later on in the day. Now, I'm going to be honest. When you first start, it's not going to be easy. Your body does have to get used to it, but it definitely will. It definitely will. I promise you. It will get used to it. As time goes by, you can always decrease your eating window to only four hours or three hours or even OMAD, which is one meal a day. I definitely did do OMAD later on in my weight loss. Um, OMAD can be difficult, but again, your body can get used to it. How intermittent fasting works is that when you're fasting, your body actually lowers your insulin. When your insulin is lowered, instead of storing fat, you start to lose fat. So that's why sometimes I do a shorter eating window of 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. But it definitely takes some time before your body does get used to it. So you want to start with the eight hours and then slowly reduce instead of jumping right in because um, then you'll just get discouraged. You'll get really hungry and discouraged. So do a 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. or an eight hour eating window to start the process. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and join the family where we post a new video every Monday. Let's lose this weight together.